Hi guys, Jurassic Junkie here and welcome to another episode of Start and Finish. Now, last week I left you saying I was going to complete Inversion and that is another one in the bag. Now this game hasn't got the most thrilling story, it's definitely good enough to actually push you through the game. So to set you up, you are actually a cop driving home to see his daughter on his birthday and inside the car is your other cop buddy. Now on the way home to your daughter there is a call on the radio simply saying there's some commotion downtown. You go to investigate to find some form of human slash mutant race fighting in the streets. And the weirdest part of it is you actually notice a crisp packet floating up in the air as if it wasn't applying to the laws of gravity. From there fast forward to you are now in control by the mutants. They are the power of the world and they're taking over all the humans and you're a pocket of the humans left and you're trying to form some form of resistance. As I said the story is uh, I would say okay at best. Nothing major but it definitely is strong enough to push you all the way through the game. Now this game is a covered based shooter. Now, I enjoy cover-based shooters, and I really do enjoy playing games co-op. And I have to say, this game does both of them very well. Now, I'll compare this, really, with Gears of War. Gears of War I enjoy, but I tend to feel like it is just run and gun all the time. Whereas Inversion actually brings a new side to it. The way it works is the gravity. Now, these new mutants, or whatever you want to call them, actually come with this new technology that allows you to manipulate gravity. And once you actually harness one of their weapons, then you can use it against them. Now I really love the element to this on the game because when you're actually running around and shooting, to start off with we were just using nothing but bullets and obviously we noticed we was going through bullets quite fast and they are quite scarce in the game. So then we start to think we need to obviously do this differently, we need to either just completely melee attack the enemies or do something new. And that's when they introduce the enemy weapon of gravity. Now this can be used in several different ways to start off with, it's just very basic and then you can actually start to level it up. So in the early stages you'll just be able to actually manipulate the odd small object. After a bit you'll be able to pick up things like cars. So the default method of this gun is to actually just make whatever you're shooting at not apply to gravity at all and float up in the air. But further on in the game you can actually make it go in reverse so therefore the object you hit actually gets heavier which works really brilliant if there's a load of people coming towards you you can actually shoot at a bridge, make it heavier and collapse on top of them. And further down the line you can actually use some form of whip to grab people and bring you to you and also use it as a shield. So that weapon alone is like, it's one of them great weapons like when you play Portal or you get the gravity gun in Half-Life to stick with you and this was one of them weapons where I went wow I really enjoy using this. Also this game is a cheap game because it only knocks out about £4 but it doesn't feel cheap especially when it comes down to the destruction. Now in a lot of games if you shoot a wooden box it kind of just goes every time in the same kind of animation. Whereas in this game, if you hit something in a particular angle, it kind of reacts in that angle. And it feels like they've spent a lot of time polishing just the destruction of all the environment in the game. On top of that, it's really good to keep us on the toes, because as I said, we was going through our ammo quite fast. If the enemy came out as in waves, we was going, well, let's not just use our ammo here. Let's pick this car up and throw it at them. But obviously, you've only got so much gravity you can actually use, so it's kind of just thinking when to use it and when not to use it. Also, the actual settings of the game actually felt quite good as well, because... Again, in Gears, they tend to be very dreary, dark levels. Now, I'm not saying there's anything really too particularly bad about the Gears, but it just feels like a very generic game. Whereas Inversion felt like it actually took us through a roller coaster of different places. Now, it starts off with like a downtown. In the middle is a bit of a Gears feel where it's mutant, base, and damp and dreary. And then towards the end, the actual maps get really interesting, but I don't want to say too much about them without obviously spoiling anything. The dialogue between the two characters isn't absolutely great, and as I said, the story is enough to push you through. But with really solid run, gun, and cover combat, combined with gravity and really nice maps, I think it's an absolutely spot on game. The other fresh thing I quite like about it is the gravity just doesn't apply to the weapons. Every so often you find a pocket of gravity that's misbehaving. So if you run into it, it kind of picks you up and slams you at 90 degrees onto a wall. And then you'll continue fighting at that angle across a wall. So it is quite good to see enemies coming at you from all different axes. And you have to jump from building to building, upside down, left, right, and trying to just work out which way you're going. So, all in all, if you like cover-based shooters and you have a friend to play it with, definitely check out Inversion. I don't know if it's going to be absolutely great to play by yourself, but at the price, it's rude to say no. So, with Inversion in the bag, the next game I'm going to be playing is Call of War as the Cartel. Now, I know a few people might say straight away this is a bad game, and I've read very bad reviews about it, but Call of War as is a series I do enjoy. One was good, two was absolutely amazing, and is a must-play. So, it's gone to the point where I'm going, I need to see what's so bad about the Cartel. So, I shall be chucking this one in next. So, that's me done and dusted, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers. Bye.